Paul Pogba is the second player during Team of the Year to receive a flashback item. He's come there with an interesting price tag of just under 6 100k and this price has definitely divided opinions in the comments tell us do you think he is worth that anyway he was used for us in a 4-3-3 formation and to begin with we kept a shadow kemp out on him but after a couple of games we switched that to an engine and honestly after that switch better results were produced now you do have options with a chem style for this pog bear you can go with engine or shadow that'll keep him controlled or you can go with the anchor chem style and you can make his accelerate type lengthy Anyway, on to in-game performance. The passing on this item was a big plus. He distributed really, really nicely over long and short distances, and you can see that in the footage, him regularly getting involved in attacks, distributing all over the field. On top of this, he can also score goals. He's got some ridiculously good shot power in-game that was definitely noticeable, and from outside the box in general, he is certainly a threat. Defensively, he was good while not being great. Essentially, he can do a job, but he isn't going to stand out massively as a defensive mid option. His physicals were as impressive as you'd expect, a whole lot of strength, a whole lot of aggression and you've got to love that. Ultimately though the big question around this Pogba is around the price, big question marks around that near 600k price tag and our opinion we think he's just a bit overpriced. Is it a good usable item? Sure, but is it a good value SBC? Not for us. If you want to read a more in-depth review, then check out the link in the description. It'll take you to our latest Footbin article. Sanchez with it now. Can he finish? And tremendous individual skill. Pogba. And he takes it all. 